Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a prop airsoft grenade, just basically a flashbang or a stun grenade. Some things you'll need are some duct tape, an empty toilet paper roll, two golf balls or something else to fill uh, two thirds of the toilet paper roll, a small bolt, a key ring, and if you want more than just a prop grenade you actually want it to explode and not just look pretty then you'll want some firecrackers. Start by taking uh, the two golf balls and then pushing them up into the toilet paper roll like this. I'll do this one from this side. And it's a pretty tight fit. You could use another filler like gravel or something, but I find this works better since it's solid and a nice tight fit. And you want the golf ball to come just so it's flush with the bottom of the toilet paper roll like, like that. The empty space at the top where there's no uh, golf ball uh, or a filler, whatever you decide to use, is so we can attach the key ring and the bolt together, um, and we can make a pin that will just be for decoration, really. But you want a little space at the top so you can put a hole in the side of the toilet paper roll so you can have that come out. Now I'm just putting a piece of tape on the key ring like this, and then I'm going to sandwich it around the bolt but first what you want to do is take a, uh, the body of your grenade and put a hole in it. That way you can stick the, the bolt through and then have this end keep the bolt from falling out. To make the hole, take something like a knife or a screw or something and just poke a hole about where you'd want it to be. And just do a small cross section, like an X, just big enough for the bolt to come through. Once you've done that, just stick the bolt through and then we'll tape the key ring on. So I'm just going to take it and sandwich it around the bolt. And I'm going to put some more tape around it to keep it a little bit more secure. So I've just put one more piece of tape around the bolt, uh, over the tape that we sandwiched over the bolt. That way it stays in a little bit better. And now it'll come in and out just a little bit. And you could tighten the bolt on the inside if you want, or the, not the bolt, the nut. You could tighten that. Uh, so it stays closer to the end, or you can just leave it loose so you can pull it out a little bit. Or even if you want, you could just take the bolt off so you actually have the pin, like if, say, you're doing a movie or something, you want the pin to actually come off, then you can do that as well. Next I'm going to show you, we're just going to tape around the whole thing. Uh, you can use duct tape, whatever color you want, or alternatively, you could just uh, paint it with spray paint, whatever color you want, you, but before you do that, you might want to cover it with paper first, like eight and a, just eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, then you don't get these rings for the toilet paper roll, and then it looks a little bit more realistic. Now I have it all taped up, um, it did kind of a crappy job, but uh, I'm sure you guys, if you do this, it'll be better. I left some room in the tape for you to be still, you s so you're still able to pull the uh, ring out if you want, and then I left a little piece of tape open on the top, and a little flap from this side uh, so we can put the firecracker in if you choose to do that. Otherwise you can just seal that off and you've got yourself a little prop grenade. So if you want to go the extra step, you can take, uh, I'm using Navy Seal firecrackers. They work under water too, but uh, I don't think, well you could throw this into the water, but uh, I'm just going to stick it in here and then tape over. Uh, the flap I have isn't big enough right now, but I'll get some more tape and put that over. Okay, and there you have it. You just want to leave a little bit of room at the top for the firecracker. Um, I'm going to go light this uh, and show you just a test of it, but if um, you want to reuse it, I think the tape is probably going to blow off, so you just have to replace that. Um, otherwise, it's a one-time use type thing. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Just been just kind of a quick little... Thing I just came up with like on a spur of the moment, so um, I'll go light this off and hopefully <laughs> it's not super loud. I haven't lit one of these in a long time, so I'll go do that. And hey guys, so I'm gonna test it. I've got the camera set up here, and I'm just gonna simulate, I guess, some sort of situation where if you want to distract someone while you're trying to invade the base, um, and you'd want to use like a flashbang as some sort of distraction. So I'll go um, set this up. I have to use matches. I don't have a lighter with me, so it's going to be a little bit more awkward. Uh, 
in the field, you might want to actually use the lighter so you're not fumbling with matches as well. So I'll go get this started. Okay. So it looks like the firecracker blew the tape off, but uh, left most of the grenade intact. So this could be reused more than once. Hopefully you guys like this video um, and the tutorial that went with it. Uh, if you guys make your own, uh, I'd like to see them as well. Um, please be careful. Don't uh, blow your hands off or anything. That would be bad. And wear eye protection. I don't know if you saw in the video, but I was wearing my face mask. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, sorry, there's mosquitoes that are getting on my hand. But that's about it for this. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, you could subscribe to me. I'm not making you, but uh, if you seriously did like the video, I've got more stuff coming out. and uh, Or you can check out some of my other videos. So I will see you guys in the future.